Hello, hello. So behind me, I've got my whiteboard, I've got my pen, and you're about to see a few things I sketched out here. <clears throat> so ultimately what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to eliminate choices. I'm trying to create super focus and create a decision framework to eliminate choices and eliminate the amount of workload on our shoulders. So I'm asking questions like, is it fast? Is it easy? Is it easy to fulfill? Is it a big upside? Are there upsells? Um, does it need a human touch? Does it need an expert human to be involved? Um, can it be done by someone else if it needs to be done by someone? Is it already a proven uh, method? And over here, you'll see here, I've got two charts. I've got influencers, um, which is a fast start because they have huge audiences. Um, but in the long term, we have the issue of ownership, right? They own it. It's dependent on them versus new topics, which might have a slower start because we have to build new topic brands from scratch. Uh, but long term, we own them 100 percent and own the growth of that as well. So those are the two um, options is focus on getting uh, building schools for influencers or uh, focus on building new brands um, around certain topics. So what I did was I did a comparison. So you can see that with influencers, they have an existing brand, they have an existing audience, and in many cases, they have existing things to upsell. Um, they also only have one channel that we need to scrape content from, whereas on the side of topics, we have to create a new brand from scratch, we have to build a new audience off of that brand, and we have to figure out what are we upselling and arrange that. And then from there, um, we can scrape and pull in content from a variety of channels. Um, uh, what else did I put? Channels and something. I don't know what I wrote. So um, <clears throat> kind of the interesting comparison. Uh, to me, I'm leaning towards the side. Of so for me, I'm really focused on the short-term income generation, um, especially because we don't know where AI is going to take things in the long term. Um, and so the goal is to get those big pushes, grow the, um, the schools extremely fast. And we don't know how long yet. We still have to figure out a duplicatable process for launching new brands based on new topics. Whereas with influencers, all we have to do is get them to say yes. And even though we don't own their brand, um, if they partner with us or hire us or whatever, um, then that's an income, uh, that's an instant kind of growth opportunity as soon as they share their school with their audience. So that's that. And here we have another comparison. So, you know, if we go the topic route, we have to pre-build uh, a school based on the topics, and then we create our promotional material. So we have to figure out how to create promo material and then grow our followers accordingly. Whereas if we do the influencer route, we are pre-building uh, the school we have one target customer we got to get to say yes. And if that influencer says yes, then they have existing followers and they can do their own self-promotion um, because they are contact, content creators. Whereas we um, make content. Okay, so that's the comparison there. So again, this is kind of a framework. Is it fast? Is it easy? Is it big? Does it have upsells? All that stuff. Um, I think another one that I don't have here is can we own it? And then are we dependent on third parties, such as the influencer? So those are some other criteria. All right, so I got my criteria. I got my... Decision framework, I'm still leaning towards the influencer road, um, <clears throat> just in terms of eliminating decisions, right? I mean, we can definitely do both, but there's a lot of extra steps that we have to automate and build and design for the topic road, whereas uh, the influencer stuff, it just saves us a lot of steps in the short term. So the question becomes, if you're an influencer with a million subscribers, why do you need a school? Well, number one, it's the next social network. Um, so if we look at a, a growth chart, we can kind of make this argument that it is the next big social platform, social network, and that the value um, of subs 
is higher. And engagement is high. Okay, so that's, it's the next social network. Um, it monetizes well, so you can go from free to paid. Uh, you can sell things within the school. You can lead them to paid offers. It really is a great way to monetize. And then it's pre-done for you, PDFY, pre-done for you. Something really new that we're offering is this idea of pre-done for you services. Most people are doing DIY where you do it yourself or done with you where we do it together or done for you, but not a lot of people are offering pre-done for you services. So when we reach out to these influencers, we've already created this huge amount of value in having done the work for them. And because we're using automations, we might have a thousand or 2000 or 5000 pre-built schools that all the influencers have to do is say yes. And, you know, X amount of them will say yes. Um, so why us pre done for you? Um, we're doing handoff to expert, uh, for management services of the school. And then, uh, we're mastering this game first. So not a lot of people have mastered the school games yet. Not a lot of people have really cracked the code on this as a new social platform, but we're going to be amongst the first and we'll have an advisory panel of school winners and experts. Cool. So those are some reasons to work with us. Um, so I will end up basically, um, I've already kind of mapped this out, but I'll build us a landing page uh, and basically see your school and Um, yes, work with us. Boom. All right, cool. So not the prettiest handwriting, but getting it done. And, uh, yep, that is my comparison of the benefits of working with influencers first versus, uh, trying to build new topic brands from scratch. Um, even if we can auto create a lot of content, it's still a lot of extra steps to build that, whereas, and a lot of extra time to wait for those channels to grow and to figure out how to make those channels grow using automations. But with influencers, all we got to do is get them that one target customer to say yes, send their existing files, and then they can self-promote or work with us to create promotional content for their schools. Ta-da. Thanks for watching. And yeah just trying to eliminate choices and eliminate the workload on us. And that's why down here, you'll see we are mastering the game, but handoff to expert management services. This is where there's already people who um, have an existing framework and fulfillment solution in order to help out influencers or help people with their schools and so on. And we can figure out how to do that internally and build the operations and build the sales structure and all that, or we can find people who already specialize in this, who already have their uh, setters and closers and process and would love um, our influencer leads or even our pre-sold influencers to hand off to the people who can help those influencers grow their schools. So uh, thanks for watching. And that is that one.